Hey, this is Ken Finn at Kabbalah Vintage Tutoring, and it's my job to get you past the Series 3 this time. So we're going to work on today the calculations, basic ones. Maybe I'll get to the hedging, but probably just straight up how to set up a problem. That's half the damn battle on this test. You got to learn the regs. You definitely have to do it because it's a separate exam, okay? But on the future stuff for the Series 3 exam, we need to actually know how to do the math. You need to know it. If you don't know how to do the math, we're going to have a big problem. Okay, so we have to do the speculation stuff, so we need to get this. So we'll do hedging at a later time. We're going to do the speculation now, where you're just betting on up and down. So cattle is are trading at 61.2 cents a pound. That means the cattle, for every pound of cattle you have, they'll pay 61.20 61 cents for the per pound. I'm bearish on it, so I'm going to short. So I'm the client, I'm going to short the contract. So and remember, this is cents. It's always cents. Unless they say otherwise, you assume it's cents, which makes life harder. But if you remember that, it makes life easier. So 61.2 cents is really 0 0.6120. Now, the way I always do this is I put a plus or a minus. If I sell, I put a plus. If I'm buying or offsetting, or let's just say I'm buying for right now, I'm going to put a minus. Whenever you buy, you put a minus. Whenever you sell, you put a plus, 0.6317. There's our numbers. Now, since we sold it at 61.20 and then we offset, what does offset mean? Offset means liquidate. They, they don't use the word close so much. They use the word offset. So if you short contracts, you offset them by buying them back. And if you buy contracts, you offset them by selling them back and then you do your numbers. So here, let's just do the math here, okay? We got it. We got a plus and a minus, and we're always going to kind of subtract them, so, especially since it's a plus and a minus. If it's two pluses, you add. If it's a minus, and if it's the same, you add. If it's a different, you subtract. So I'm going to do this. I do the math here. This is going to be minus 0 0.0197 because they just plugged it in, and I put a comma there, so that makes me look like an idiot. So 0 0.0197. So that is my loss of 0 0.0197. Now what we do is we're going to do 0 0.0197 times the number of contract size, so 40,000. So that's going to be $788 loss. Remember, because it's a negative. So we now, so I'm going to do this here. So we see it times 40,000. That's the contract size. You always do that. Okay. Now we have to deal with the commission per contract. Okay, so that's $35. Always remember a cut. So this is going to be negative 788. That's what we came up with. Okay. Now that's $788. Okay. Let's put that there so we, we could look normal so that we know where we are. Now we also paid $35 per contract. So we're going to remember commissions are always a negative. So if we have a negative and two negatives, we're going to add. So we're going to add 788 plus 35. So we have an $823 loss per contract. Okay. Since it's a negative, we know that's a loss. So boom, we'll put a loss here. Okay. So that's why I do this. So let's go through this again. So we have it. I sold for 6120. That means I have a plus. I bought it back for 63.17, so I paid more back. I have a negative here, a plus for sale, minus for buy. I subtract them, I get 0.017. The easiest way to do is find the biggest number and whatever symbol that is using, you bring that down. So since the minus is the bigger number, we now know we have a loss. You can do it the other way. You can actually know gain or loss, but this is a good way in case you forget. Now, you're going to multiply that times the contract size. There you go, and that gives you and it stays a negative, negative 788. Then remember, commissions are always per contract and they're round turns. They could say total and then you do it after this, but we'll get to that. Um, now there's your $35 commissions. Since commissions are always a minus because you're always paying them, they're always a minus. In this case, you would add. So this would be 788 plus 35 is equals 823. But we're not done because we did it five times. So now we have to multiply. This is all easy once you get it times five contracts. So 823 times five equals 41.15. So this would be a loss of $4,115. And that should be the math on this. We'll do one more just to make sure we're go. Okay. okay. Here's our situation. The customer 
expects the price of gas to rise. They go along 12 December gas futures at 85 cents. See, so they can write 85 cents or they can say dollar with the decimal. Always very literal what they do per gallon. So it's 85 cents per gallon. Gas futures rise because he was right. They went up to 92 cents a gallon. The contract size is 42,000. The round turn commissions is 45. Remember, the commissions are round turn. You pay all the commissions in one shot, not per trade. And then you offset the position at the market price. So offset means get rid of, right? Okay, so let's start this. So first of all, the customer buys them at 12. So that's a negative. Buys 12 of them at 85 cents. Boom, that's our 85 cents. Then they rise to 92 and he offsets them. So boom, there's your 92. And let's see how I did it. If you buy it's a negative, if you sell it's a plus, get it in your head. That helps you much, much, much more later. I was going to say some really bad grammar. So now once we do that, we do the math since it's a plus and a minus, just subtract. So we have a seven cent difference. Now we always bring the bigger symbol down. So boom, that's a plus. So that means it's a positive seven cents. They have to give you the contract size. So there it is. We're going to multiply that times 42,000, the contract size, and that gives us a profit of 29.40, seven cents times 42,000. But we're not done. We also pay a commission. Remember, commission is always a minus. So we have a plus and a minus. We're going to subtract. So that's our profit after per contract after we pay the commissions, $2,895 per contract after we pay commissions. Then we have to do how many contracts because we have to find out how much. So here we made a profit of, let's do the math here, 2895 times 12 is $34,740. So that's going to be our answer. Let's see if it works. 34740 And since that's a plus all the way, we're going to stick with the plus. And there's our profit. I hope that helps. I'll do hedging next time. Let's do, let's get this series three down. We can do this. It's not that hard if you do it little by little.